Hey guys, Tyler is awesome too here, and today I want to talk about a topic that's <clears throat> topic that's been around in the more recent years of the Benton franchise and fandom. Basically, this is this topic I'm talking about: the Benton Planet, aka the Benton Wikis, long-standing misinformation. You see, it's a record of information that has been falsely added to the Benton wiki for whatever reason or just misconceptions made by the wiki. Basically, some of which have dubiously or definitely entered the Benton canon. Okay, the summary is that some person, for whatever reason, either the just add something to the wiki without resources or ones that we don't know of. Or just they misinterpret something. Or they just like the idea and whatnot. And because they can. Though the wiki did make efforts to clean up their sources and become more reliable, <clears throat> reliable in recent years. So, this page exists for that reason. And basically, the writers of Ben 10 have fallen victim to using the wiki. But they're not the only ones. I'll get to that later. Anyways, for the misinformation, let's talk about the pronunciation of Flatats or Flatites, which was their original pronunciation, and our enter. Transal, I mean, Flatus. I mean, I meant to say Flatus. To see what I mean. That would make sense later, actually. The spelling was actually Flatite, not Flatats. But this user decides to edit it, and now it's Flatite, and the Omniverse episode, The Vampire Strikes Back, canonized that. Basically. And also enter Flatus because some guy created in 2010 and it was added to the enter page and then Derek J. White saw it in the wiki and decided to create a full backstory for it where basically nothing can survive there and not even Celestial Sapiens, though they can try with their rally warping powers, or not even Ectoneurite. And something of which I'll discuss about later in this video. And basically, neither Derek or Man of Reaction, for that matter, were aware of the fan made origins of Anna Flatus. Basically, and. And we got Opticoids and Citra. Basically, I, I was not. did not have a species name or a planet back then. When he was first conceptualized, but then in all his years, I created species and planet for I guy basically. And I guy was basically in Fusion Ball was mentioned as a slight salon. The master reef for Omniverse would later call I guy not decoy from the planet Cytra. I think it was from thus canonizing them respectively. Though I think Cytra was some sort of gluttonous planet or cluster thing, planet thing. And then Nosedesian. Well, Nosedesian is actually the misspelling of the Nosedean. Or Nosedeans of the Nosing Quasar. And then the misspelling got canonized the Omniverse episode Age of from the Past. Where the Megawatts were now to have the species name of Nosedesian. And Megawatts just a nickname. You know, back during the classic series, Megawatt was actually the species name. And we have the most well known of this Dr. Animal's known name being James. And you see, and which was added to Wookiee in 2010. Like, wow, that's like 14 years ago. Wow. 
There was no f- sources to prove that Dr. Animal's middle name was James, or he had a middle name for that matter, or what it is, or whatever. The middle name James was confirmed and canonized in the episode of Omniverse, It Was Them. Thin charm of tel- telekinesis. Man, oh boy. Yeah, it was preferred to the charm of levitation in the original series, but then 2011, they decided to just call, uh, to call it the charm of telekinesis for whatever reason. And then an alternate name for the charm thing. The original name was moved from the charm from the page, and as of the Amu reverse, the charm is known as the charm of telekinesis. I guess because I guess this name thing was changed in universe because Ben recreated the universe or something. And then Cooper's last name being Daniels. Well, some guy just started to give him the last name Daniels on the wiki. No source for the name was proven in any instances. Cooper's third name was never said on screen or in any merchandise till a graphic novel called Parallel Paradox. However, the book is said to be not in canon and does not involve any crew members of Omniverse. The wiki does not consider Cooper's last name to be Daniels. So basically, misinformation, miles and merchandise, and other, basically, the wiki didn't consider that at all. Don't let it's like the apoplexy situation, where it's thought to be result of Wookie made it, but then turned out there was an official source for it, and maybe it was in a pop up trivia for Ben 10 vs. Negative 10 that I don't know about, or the lost little pop up trivia edition of Ben 10 thing. I mean, there's there lost information, lost episodes, basically, and and this new information is still being found to this day, and the work, which is one of the things the work, wiki is becoming more reliable with, and we're finding more sources and the info and all the pop up trivia, lost pop up trivia episodes, basically. So they're either the pop up trivia where Cooper's last name is indeed Daniels, and the nano chips. Basically, the page for them. Microchips was added to have be called nanochips. Let's but let's be honest, nanochips has a better ring to it anyway, so yeah. The bent had an ultimate alien episode Revenge of the Swarm we refer to them as as the drones, chips, microchips, and nanites. The and if he plus DVD released in town 12, where Larry used the term nanochips. And thus, it's acknowledged there. However, the wiki used the terms microchips instead. And Vulcan. You know, like those mythological gods, or the common writer, or the planet of Spock and his people. Yes, yeah, so. In 2009, the, some guy decides to add the a fan uh, the planet Vulcan as a part of as Vulcanus' planet, basically, because you know Vulcan, Vulcanus. At, and this one's D Jet Ray. I see what you did there. North Source was proven. The Ultimate Alien DVD, The Wild Truth. Where there would be knowledge in that DVD, kind of like Cooper's last name. I mean, the noun chips, sorry. Howard Wookie did not consider to the Vulcan to be the Vulcanus and his people's planet. And there are Salbula and Virtus V. And this actually has to do with the Brazilian wiki. And well, with Siphon and his his species and planet. 
again, this is a knowledge and some th in a sticker book. However, since it was never said in the show, this mission, these information was not knowledge in the show. This was properly not. We could not consider these at all. There's no source for siphon is planet and his species were ever proven. Then we have the other stuff. So the containment suit aliens. Which all started when a fan asked if Echo Echo was the other robot or some kind of living containment suit. Then Shara's theory that Echo Echo is actually living sound waves for a containment suit to hold. Dwayne responded by saying, Echo Echo just is part of a race that just really looks like a robot. Dara would claim multiple times that Echo Echo is in fact a containment suit, probably just because he likes the idea. While answering fan questions. While specifying not coming up with the concept and guy from Dwayne McDuffie, due to the attraction Contraction between Dwayne and Derek, Echo Echo is no longer considered a containment suit by the wiki. Following this logic, Ultimate Echo Echo would also be a containment suit. Derek once claimed that feedback was a living containment suit, but he like he like they like on second thought screw that thing. So feedback is not a containment suit either. And then we have Ghost Freak's second skin. Oh boy. This is the part where I made a mistake. I fallen victim to this misconception. I fallen victim. I did. I admit it. I was just following the same misconception as all of you. And if you go to... If you... If you go on YouTube and search... Ben 10 Season 2 Retrospective, you'll see a video, a video where a guy talks about where whether or not Ghost Freak's containment, where Ghost Freak's second skin is really what keeps him protected from the sunlight or if it really was the Omnitrix that did it. So, basically, yeah. Basically... In 2007, it got a user by the name of, well, Ghost Freak. Yeah. And a Ghost Freak. This adds something to Ghost Freak's wikis and their donorates in general. Oh, which this is the earliest revision made in direct mention of Saskara being sun weakened without his protective skin. Thus, ectonorites have been for the longest time. Have been portrayed on the wiki as only be weakened to the sunlight without their second skin. However, both pop up trivia and dialogue from both Ben and the Scare and Ghost Freak Out would, can, would actually indicate that, would, would and mean that. So scare merging with Ben's DNA is what actually keeps him becoming whole and surfaces vulnerability to sunlight. And that the Omnitrix is what keeps Ghost Freak from being hurt by the sunlight. And that would mean that Ectonorites are just going to burn up regardless of their second skin or not. Basically, if you know about my um Ectonary to explain video where I discuss the second skin. So thanks to this user I was wrong. And then we have Forever Ninja, basically the name. Basically Forever Ninja was all, was edited by a user in Jason. He called by user in eight, where the Red Knight's user, Red Knight's name was Kradon, doesn't, entitled Forever Knight Ninja, 
And then it was also used on the Ben 10 Alien Force video game. And Cosmic Destruction. And now we got just simply Forever Ninja. But the Forever Ninja was never said in show or used by the Red Knight character. And it would not be actually called Red Knight until an American Ben Wolf in London. Which means that Forever Ninja was actually just an enemy in the video game and not linked to the Red Knight character. So, yeah. Wow. And speaking of Ben Wolf, the Anadushi name for the the scare's original Lebowen henchman. Basically, people decides. Basically, hey, Yanodushi should be this guy's name on the wiki. And basically, since was called it the Anadushi because they that was just that never Joe God Yanodushi, but then turned out to be an alien werewolf called Lopowen. And they stopped referring to him that, and the wiki was incorrect. And Yanadushi actually refers to a shape shifter. Then the Nalgian species. I mean, it's easy one to misconcept because, well, the Nalgian destructor, and, well, it's associated with the cosmic mom, and, well, the name has to come from something, so you can see why it be that. Terra X Cover. I think I pronounced that right, yeah. Yeah, so so basically called Poing <clears throat> Po Ayana Lucas. Drill the armadillo and by extension the Tabagans. Sorry, I pronounced that. His species, home planet in the 53rd issue of the Cartoon Network Action Shinpak series. However, on 2010, despite this, 2011, a username. Grace Philip, a user decided to edit Armadillo's plan, claiming that Terra X Kava was Armadillo's home plan because he didn't like that, like the name reveal in the comics. That comics, so the page for Terra X Kava would be created, fixing. Randall's website and fancy Ben Toys Docs as sources achieve paces from Bandai site do not seem to have any information regarding Armored Joel's home plant. Thus, huh? thus the original name mentioned the Cartoon Network Action Pack series is the true name of Armored Joel's home planet, Doterra X Kava. Is actually a more fitting name. And Su Sai Bison. Basically, some. The editor of this page just. Basically, you know, viewers unfamiliar with the term. See. <clears throat> see. Bossons. It caused. People to because those people are unfamiliar with the term basically that Karen was talking about the mount, you know, that that triceratops looking <clears throat> tetraman hybrid thing that's based on a toy from the classic series. And so basically the page was between two bison and a name. Bison like creature or bison like creatures over and over again, where the name Super Bison was in, was immorably settled upon by 
and Dramara, this thing would be posted on a wiki till well, j January 2020 when it was moved to t Coral's Reptilian Mounts with the name coming from a model sheet by Derek J. Wyatt. Um, I do actually think that Zubison is a better name for them anyway, so yeah. So basically, yeah. See, you can see this stuff, like, Dubliously can misinformation and the. Definitely can misinformation. Definitely. Dubiously. This entered the Ben can canon and that stuff. As you can. But not only the. People worked on Ben Tanamiverse fallen victim to using the wiki and the misconceptions by it. But the ink tank has also fallen victim to you. To the wiki and its misinformations. Now, I'm not. I'm not downing. I'm not like slanging on. On Kuro or Ash or. Or the Ink Tank. I mean, I do think they do an amazing job of their of Five Whales lore and that whatnot. Even I do have some gripes. But you should totally check out the Ink Tank's work. And all. Basically. What happens if the Ink Tank would change something from the Ben 10 lore. Because they like the idea m more. Basically. Which means they're able to use some of these things. Like things that only acknowledge in merchandise. Or stuff from the actual show or something from the video games or or even some of the misconceptions especially those from the Ben 10 wiki like for example seeing that Cooper's last name is Daniels on the wiki and Ghost Freak second skin as well these would be added to their and Beyond series and the their webcomic series five years later and its motion comic counterpart. Making these impulsive edits to the Benton Wiki canon to the continuity of 5YL. Other examples of the Ink Tank using the misinformation from the wiki are Opticoids and Citra, Nanochip, Anerflatus, Echo Echo being a containment suit, the Nalgian species, and Terra X Kava. Again, I think I'm saying that right. So now, thanks to this long ass video on the misconceptions and and about Ben 10 and what we all falsely believed and thanks to the Ben 10 wiki or people misinterpreting something like it's easy to assume Ghost Freak second skin is what protects him from the sun because we never see an ectoneurite well burn up with their second skin on. So it's easy to assume that. So unless Ben altering the universe is what makes that true, then yeah, it would be. So, no wonder Scare just gave up wanting to merge with Ben and Omniverse. You see, both the Omniverse crew and the Ink Tank were both had damage rely on the wiki, and it's been done. And 
And I made the mistake on this misinformation as well. Relying on the wiki and whatnot. And what people hear about it. And also, if you want to check out this page, then go watch the what video uh the Intanks video on Heaven Eleven and why his backstory was changed so much. And there's a link in the description on the video that'll take you to this page and go check it out. So, I might update the misinformation and what will be added and I might do videos on updates on this page and what changes and what new information is found and regardless and find out the things were created by the wiki weren't actually and they're proven facts now and no longer part of this page and misinformation and all and or it's dubiously canonized by somebody from the Benton crew or whatnot. So basically, yeah, I might do that, but probably not. Because you know, that's how I do. So basically my you know my deal. Kuga thumbs up, subscribe, notifications, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And TikTok. You know the drill. I'm Tyler's Awesome 2. And it's hero time.